Ever pondered over the question, how much should you invest in stocks? Well, wonder no more. Today we're going to dissect the process of determining the right amount to invest in stocks, breaking it down into digestible, easy-to-follow steps. Whether you're a first-time trader or a seasoned investor, knowing how much to invest is a crucial part of your financial journey. It's not just about plugging numbers into a calculator, it's about understanding your financial goals, assessing your budget, considering your risk tolerance, and much more. This isn't a one-size-fits-all formula, but a guide to help you make informed decisions tailored to your unique circumstances. So, whether you're saving for a dream vacation, planning for retirement or just looking to grow your wealth, this video is for you. Stay tuned as we unravel the secret formula for determining your investment in stocks in 2024. The first step in determining your investment is defining your financial goals. Clear financial goals are the compass that guides your investment journey. They help provide a sense of direction, ensuring that each investment decision you make is tailored towards achieving a specific objective. For some of you, that goal might be a comfortable retirement. For others, it could be a down payment on a dream home, or perhaps it's funding a higher education. Each of these goals requires a different investment strategy and a different amount of capital. For instance, saving for retirement may involve a long-term strategy with a more significant investment, while saving for a down payment may require a shorter-term approach with a smaller, yet consistent investment. Remember, these goals are not set in stone. They can evolve with you as your financial situation changes. Your financial goals will significantly influence the amount you need to invest and for how long. The next step is to assess your budget. It's time to pull out those bank statements and receipts and take a close look at your financial landscape. How much money is coming in every month, how much is going out, and importantly, where exactly is it going? It's crucial to have a clear picture of your income and expenses. This understanding lays the foundation for making informed investment decisions. Now let's talk about the 50-30-20 rule a simple yet effective budgeting technique. This rule proposes that you allocate 50% of your after-tax income to essentials like rent, groceries and bills. 30% can then go towards discretionary spending. Think dining out, entertainment and other non-essentials. The remaining 20%? That's earmarked for savings and investments. Let's delve a little deeper into that 20%. This is where you can start considering how much you're comfortable allocating to stocks. It's essential to keep in mind your risk tolerance. If you're more risk averse, you might want to lean towards a more conservative allocation. On the other hand, if you're comfortable taking on more risk, you might choose to invest a larger portion of this 20% in stocks. Remember, your investment should not compromise your essential needs. It's about striking a balance between growing your wealth and maintaining a comfortable lifestyle. So take the time to assess your budget, consider the 50-30-20 rule, and make a decision that aligns with your financial comfort zone. A common recommendation is to invest a total of 10 to 15% of your income each year for retirement. This percentage might seem daunting, especially for those just starting out on their investment journey. But remember, the beauty of investing lies in the power of compounding, where your money grows exponentially over time. You don't need to start off investing at the higher end of this range. You can start small, perhaps with just 2 to 5% of your income. As you become more comfortable with investing, and as your income grows, you can gradually increase this percentage. This approach makes investing more manageable and less of a financial strain. It also allows you to become accustomed to having a portion of your income automatically directed towards your investments. This slow and steady approach can be highly effective in building a substantial retirement nest egg over time. Consistency is key when it comes to investing. Before investing, it's wise to pay off any high interest debt. This is because the interest you'd pay on such debt can often outweigh the potential returns from your investments. Think about it. If you're paying 20% interest on credit card debt, you'd need to achieve an equivalent return on your investment just to break even. Paying off high interest debt is, in essence, a guaranteed return on your investment. Now let's talk about emergency funds. An emergency fund is a lifeline when unexpected expenses crop up. This fund should cover at least three to six months worth of living expenses. It's a crucial part of your financial safety net and should be in place before you start investing heavily in stocks. This way, if the market takes a downturn or if you face unexpected expenses, you won't need to sell your investments at a loss. Regular contributions to your investment accounts are another important factor. This strategy, 
known as dollar cost averaging, can reduce the impact of market volatility. By investing a fixed amount at regular intervals, you're buying more shares when prices are low and fewer when prices are high. Over time, this can lower the average cost per share of your investments. In conclusion, before diving into the world of stocks, it's crucial to pay off high interest debt, establish an emergency fund, and plan for regular contributions. These steps will provide you with a solid financial foundation, reducing risk and helping you weather market volatility. Ensure you have a financial safety net before investing heavily in stocks. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to how much you should invest in stocks. But with a few key considerations, you can uncover your own unique formula. Remember, start with your financial goals. They will guide your investment decisions and help you determine how much and for how long you need to invest. Then, assess your budget and consider the 50-30-20 rule. This will help you allocate your income wisely and decide how much you can comfortably put into stocks. Aim for a percentage of your income, usually between 10 to 15 percent, and remember, it's okay to start small and gradually increase your investments over time. Don't forget the importance of prioritizing high-interest debts and maintaining an emergency fund before diving headfirst into the stock market. And finally, consider making regular contributions to your investment accounts to help buffer against market volatility. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and tricks.